Hello and welcome to the Avastar Update 418. This update introduces a lot of bug fixes, new features and improvements. I have recorded a quick tip for replacing the Avastar head by your own custom head here to show you the mesh tools in action. Add an Avastar, and place your custom head into the scene. Then match the seams of the custom head and the default head. The following method works best when both heads have the same number of vertices on the seam. Select your custom head and align it roughly to the Avastar. Then select wireframe mode. Go to edit mode. Enable snapping to the nearest vertex. And disable snap onto itself. Then the vertices will only snap to different objects. My custom shape uses a mirror modifier. So I only need to snap one half of the head. When you are done then go to object mode. Select your custom head and the Avastar armature. Open the tool shelf. In the mesh tool section you now find the weight copy panel. Click on copy weights. Then bake to T-pose. Now your custom head is weighted and attached to the armature. Go to the bones object data section in the properties window. Disable the visibility of all of the Avastar's head parts. And now you can animate and export your new mesh character. Here is another tip. When you find that your rigged mesh changes its size when you move or rotate the bones, then select the mesh, go to the modifier section in the properties window. Open the armature modifier, and enable preserve volume. The model size is now preserved during animation. Avastar now has targetless IK. You just grab any bone and move it around as you like. The attached bones follow. This allows to create natural poses much faster than before. You also can control how many of the attached bones will follow. But note that no bone chain expands beyond the cog bone. Thus it is not possible to move the entire avatar by just moving the hand. The mesh tools also contain a weight editor, which allows you to modify mesh weights. Go to edit mode and select one single vertex. Locate the weight adjustment in the mesh tools. Then press the refresh button. Now you see which weights are assigned to this vertex. The editor allows to select up to four bones and modify the weights. Note that you have to use the refresh button to actually see the data for the current selection. You write back the modified values with the apply button. You also can select the bones which you want to weight. When you select multiple vertices, then no mesh weights are displayed, but you can set the weights for all selected vertices at the same time. Press the apply button to write the weights back into the mesh. Up till now we had all Avastar settings in the properties sidebar. We have changed that. Now you find the settings at following places. The animation export settings have been moved to the render properties. All shape related settings and expression settings are now in the object section of the properties window. And finally the rig display related settings are now in the object data section. So rush to your personal download folder right away to get your update. We hope that you have fun with all the new and amazing functions. If you are interested in purchasing Avastar, then please go to the Jazz Shop in Second Life, or purchase the tool via PayPal, directly from our website. Thank you for watching.